Hello, my name is Matias Cavodi. I'd like to welcome guys to my channel. Today we're going to talk about Secret Empire Issue Zero. And I took my time with this to put it up on the channel. I wanted to things cool down after this story. Like, for some reason, this particular crossover got very politicized. I remember a lot of people debating this on the internet, on YouTube. Um, a lot of people especially that didn't read comic books, having very strong opinions about Hydra Cap. And I sort of found Hydra Cap interesting, that particular phase. Um, I really like the idea that Cap is so important to the Marvel Universe that if he goes bad, uh, even though the guy doesn't, he's not a no mega level mutant, his powers are not um, on the level, be it uh, Doctor Strange or Iron Man or Hulk, the guy, and he's not even like super smart, but the guy's a strategist and he knows about tactics. Sort of cool, the difference between strategy and tactics. And the guy knows how to plan and be a leader and how dangerous a leader that goes bad can be. So I liked the whole, like how it started with Silent Hill, then the Captain America series. Um, Hail, Hail Hydra thing. I thought it was a, a blast. Um, I like it when heroes turn into heels for brief times and for good story arcs. Um, shows you all the potential that that character has in a different way. So, in this issue zero, Captain America sets into motion his master plan for Hydra to take over everything. Obviously, like people that whined about this, it was obvious this is. Uh, not the real Cap. He was a he's like a creation of the Cosmic Cube. They altered the timeline. Um, in New York, all the characters that were trapped in Silent Hill that really have a beef against Shield start to attack. They want to make the hero world heroes pay, and they want Shield to pay. Start attacking New York City. It's all part, obviously, of Cap's plan. Up in space, all the cosmic and heavy hitters are fighting against a Chichari invasion that wave upon wave upon wave are attacking Earth. Also uh, part of Captain America's strategy. To keep everyone distracted while he makes his move to take over S.H.I.E.L.D. Because during this time he was the director of S.H.I.E.L.D. So what happens, Cap finally decides to make his move take over S.H.I.E.L.D. with Hydra's forces. And actually during the Civil War, that's the only good moment of Civil War. He was going to do that during that moment. And the whole Civil War uh, <laughs> took place, which the Civil War II was just terrible. But I sort of liked how Captain America used Ulysses' precog powers against him. That's like one of the only few things I actually liked about that story. So he takes over S.H.I.E.L.D. And what he does, he traps the street-level heroes in the Avengers in New York City uses Blackout with Baron Zero, the Black Hold, and this villain called Blackout to create a, um, a dome of dark energy, trap everyone up there, and uses a, a shield it's used to protect Earth against alien invasions, trapping all the heroes out in space. So, in a one-two punch, to defeat everyone, no one understands what the hell is going on. Hyde now, the new Hydra Shield, makes his move, takes over the United States, and we end issue zero. It's, it's like I finished reading this, and I thought to myself, man, that was pretty awesome. Again, this is not the real cap. This is a manifestation and modification of, cosmic cu of the Cosmic Cube. People that read comic books understand this weird shit, but <laughs> it's... It leads to the base of a good story. Later on, we're going to do the whole crossover. I might divide it because there's a, lot, there's a lot in this. Like Some of the characterizations in the Secret Empire crossover aren't the best. Like I don't like what Black Widow happens to Black Widow and Falcon, how they're acting. Punisher, I do. It works for me. And one thing, another thing that I didn't like about the Secret Empire is that the organization called the Secret Empire doesn't pop up. They're, there's, they're like Hydra. And uh, Leviathan doesn't either. Um, and that's like a missed opportunity, but I think it's worth a read. And I just can't believe all the bullshit everyone talked about during that time. Like, it might not work for you. Like, what Nick Spencer did um, and Marvel really pandered to to this uh, 
the whole debate and pandering. He Marvel tried to pander to certain people and like Marvel was, oh man, don't get, don't, I don't want to get into Marvel during this particular era, but like this story is was pretty good. So we're going to cover the rest in future videos. So I hope you guys liked it. See you guys next time. Bye.